So this is taken from quiz 15. Uh, first to enter the bacterial count. And the data's been copied across from the question. Note how we write a scientific notation in Microsoft Excel. So once all the data is entered, I'm going to employ an XY scatter plot and display equation of the exponential trend line. So I block all the numbers. So XY scatter markers only, and then go to the add trend line option. And in more options, I can choose exponential. And then down the bottom, a display equation for chart. I'll just increase the size of this so it's easier to see. OK, so we now have the model of best fit for the data. And we can use this to make predictions going forward. So the question is how many bacteria we might expect after seven hours, given ideal conditions, and the rate continues to increase at the same way. So it's simply the starting value times the EXP function, which is raised to, in this case, k equals 0 0.7865, and then times seven hours. This is best formatted to scientific notation. And the answer is of the order of 3.2 times 10 to the 7 bacteria. We're then asked how long it would take for the population to grow to a, a 10 to the 30 bacterial cells if the rate of change continues. So entering 1 times 10 to the 30 as the count value. And then we employ the formula that is marked in red there. It's the natural log of 1e30 minus the natural log of the starting value. Now notice how the brackets are color coded. It helps, the colors help you know where you're up to with the brackets so that it, it's, it's easier to see where the brackets go for writing the expression correctly. So I'll close that bracket, then the second bracket in black, and all that is divided by the k value. And there we have uh, the value which uh, rounds down to 73 hours.